and the process will start. We've never done this before. We've never tried to impeach a governor. We have had the impeachment process one time in 1915, and uh, we're, we're basically building off of that. So it's going to be a process, but the, the process starts today. The, as most of you can see, the, the articles of impeachment are, are essentially on, on what's been going on, where we're looking at, at this governor who has essentially betrayed the trust of the people of Alabama through actions and lies that have, have caused us to have some doubt about his leadership. And as such, the only course the people of Alabama have to, to address this issue is through the impeachment process. And so the process is going to start today. I want to first say that, that I'm thankful that the governor has, has reconciled his actions with, with our Lord and Jesus Christ. And I, I hope the best for him. But as always, our actions, while we may in a spiritual sense find our, our forgiveness, they still have consequences. And those consequences are this process and the possible removal of office for his actions. And with that, we'll start today. I will um, ask any of my colleagues if they'd like to add anything, and then we'll open it up to questions. Thank you, Craig Ford, Democrat, Gaston, Alabama. Uh, I want to say this, uh, first of all, I want to commend Representative Ed Henry uh, for taking the bold step of leadership and bringing forth uh, these articles. Uh, I want to say this is not about Democrat and Republicans. Uh, this is about right and wrong. This is the only thing we know for sure today is that nothing that the governor has said is true. This is not about the governor's personal conduct. This is about the allegations against him, including that he obstructed justice within the Alabama State Law Enforcement Agency. We believe there's enough probable cause to warrant asking the state Senate to try this case and, if guilty, remove the governor from office. Well, this is, it's a sad day that we have to initiate this process, and it is a process. Uh, uh, this begins a lot of discussion about, about how this unfortunate set of circumstances has affected us all. It's not a glad, certainly not a glad time for anybody. And uh, as this process goes forward, we will, uh, we will uh, carefully weigh out the issues. Uh, this is really about uh, the checks and balances of government that the Founding Fathers have, have put in place. Um, the legislative branch of government doesn't operate exactly like the, the judicial branch or the executive branch. In the impeachment process, it's, uh, it, it, it's fortunate that it hasn't been used very often. We do have term limits in Alabama, and we don't have recall. And this is and this is a process where, when when circumstances rise to a certain level, that it, that it, it can hold a constitutional officer accountable. And um, and as as this goes forward, I think it's I think it's very important that uh, that that we uh, look at this as objectively as possible. We consider the ramifications of what has happened. And, and also how this will affect the people of Alabama going forward. Uh, there's a crisis of confidence, and, uh, and this needs to be resolved. Thank you very much. Yes, I'm David Standridge. Um, I'm a representative, Republican representative from uh, Blount County. I will say that this is a tough day. This is a tough day for uh, the state of Alabama. Um, being a former law enforcement officer, career law enforcement officer, and also probate judge, um, I will say that what is important uh, is the rule of law. It's important to me. I think it's important to the people of this state. Um, it's known that I have asked uh, publicly that the governor step down. I still think that that's in the best interest of the state, which I believe is the utmost importance of it at this time is thinking about the people of the state 
and not personal issues. Uh, and, you know, with a heavy heart, I do ask that uh, because uh, I have supported the governor. I supported him twice uh, in election. I supported him before a lot of people thought that he would have a shot at winning the election. So it is sad. It's, it's hard. It's hard for me. Um, and the county that I come from is considered probably the most conservative county in the state and we obviously supported the governor and supported him in the last election at the highest percentage than any county in the state. But what I believe in more than anything else is that our officials need to be held to a higher standard. I believe in integrity. I believe that we can't, um, we can't move forward without the people's trust. I believe in this case that people have lost trust uh, in the leadership. And so with that, I reiterate that I think it's in the best interest that the governor seriously consider stepping down. Uh, if not, I think it's our obligation uh, in the House uh, to move forward with our duties. Uh,